Today I'll be creating this illustration, Cecil Eating Pears, on the iPad using Procreate. The longer version of this is on my Patreon page, and it's about three hours, much of it in real time, so I hope you'll join me over on Patreon. Welcome into my studio, everyone. Today I'm starting out with the finished drawing of Cecil Eating Pears. This illustration was created in Procreate on the iPad. I used the Apple Pencil and kept the settings in Procreate to the pencil setting primarily. Now this was created originally using my drawing in colored pencil, Cecil with Pears, and this was a 5x7. So I wanted to take this, basically bring the image into Procreate, draw over it, and refine that drawing that I had once done. And that's pretty simple once you take a picture of your drawing. You can take a picture of your sketch, you bring it into Procreate, and you can create layers and basically draw over your original drawing. You can recolor it. As you can see, the size here was the 5x7. I created a much larger canvas size to a 12x14 or, or around that dimension. So I'm just going to stretch this out, and you can place it anywhere in your canvas that you want. Just dragging the corners of your original drawing, bringing it in a little bit, repositioning it. You have a lot of flexibility on the iPad. Now you can see I've got several layers. There's a gray background layer. There's a layer 2, which we're going to rename, and that's the drawing. You can change the opacity from full strength down to nearly invisible. That will give you something to basically trace over. So let's add another layer, and we'll just rename this. And we'll just call it Rough Sketch because this is what we're going to use to trace over. Just using a standard 6B pencil, just trace over that. You can be very precise in your tracing. You can modify things. You can correct areas that you would have done differently had you had the chance to go back and redo that piece. So it's been a few years since I did this drawing. And using some of these techniques I've learned since then and using the iPad now, this will be a way for me to modify this a bit. I'm going to keep it pretty close to the original character of the drawing, but it's just going to be done a little bit smoother and still done with pencils. You could fill this in more as a quick illustration using more flat colors and then embellishing those with shading, but I'm going to try to keep this as close as I can to what you would use with traditional pencil and paper. And if you follow along and you choose to use colored pencils or pastel, or if you want to do this in a black and white with charcoal and, and white pastel, just about all the techniques I'm using on here would be applicable for you to use just with pencils on paper. This illustration took about 10 hours to do, and I'm going to be speeding up a few sections, uh, such as this And now we go into the layers. You can see the rough sketch when we take the other layer away. And that's what is remaining. I'm going to bring that background layer back. Now we're going to just add another layer on top of that, on top of the rough sketch. This is the layer we're going to refine. We can add the color in here. You'll see as we have this new uh, refined sketch layer uh, for color. Now in Procreate, you can touch on an object, such as this pair, and what I was doing was picking up the color from that original colored pencil drawing I did. And you see it found that color. And that's what I'm going to use to color over. You could pick a completely different color. It's, it's up to you, but this is the process if you want to pretty much duplicate what you had done before. Complete separation from that previous outline drawing that we had done. The rough sketch, or we could have called it outline drawing, is just basically going to be a guide for us. And now it's just drawing in and filling in the color, just as you would with pastel pencils or colored pencils. Just working on this pair, I'm going to speed this up because you can see the process is going to be rather long. And now we're going to grab the primary color from the other pair and we're going to start filling in uh, the section just as we had done on the previous pair. So let's just take a look at our original drawing underneath, the one that we had scanned in. And let's sample a color from the mouse that's there. Now 
Now we're just going to sample that fleshy part of the pear collar and start coloring in the sections of the pear that the mouse bit off. And now to grab a sample of the darker area than the shaded area of the pear and start adding that color in. really taking this light area of the pear and pushing it to really bring out some nice bright yellow highlights. start selecting the color to finish coloring in the mouse to give a good flat underlying surface color and then we'll be adding more details, highlights, shading, adding the color of the eyes, the nose, ears, hands, and really focusing a lot on where the shadow is. Now I'm going to jump into the grid assistant that's on the iPad. This helps greatly with perspective and distance and backgrounds. And I'm just going to add some floorboards here and the background wall, imagining that Cecil is in an old wooden room. So I'm just going to be warming this up once I get these floorboards laid in and we'll continue this in the high speed. And now continuing to add some more focused shadow area along the bottom of the pears. Okay, I'm going to zoom in a bit for the mouse portion of this and get a little bit more detail. Start enhancing some of that fur, adding more of these pencil strokes to give a sense of the direction of the fur as well as the values of where the light areas of the fur and the darker areas are. Ah, those little mouse feet and little mouse toes. We're just adding more shading into that, uh, building this little at a time, and we're going to speed through this process for the next segment of this video.
just want you to know that the full version of this video, very detailed, three hours worth, is over on my Patreon page, and I hope you'll check that out and become a member of my community over there. And now to begin adding the details of the whiskers, we'll go along with this in high speed. And with these last touches of just coloring that part in, this piece is now complete. Thanks so much for watching, and I will be uploading more videos very soon. Let me know if there's anything specific you would like to see. Just leave it in the comments below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the get notifications bell. Look forward to seeing you soon.